So here we have the Nissan Juke on an 18 plate. I'm going to start off by showing you around the outside of the car and then we'll hop in and run through some controls on the inside of it. From the outside, you can see it's a five door car with alloy wheels and tinted windows. We're going to start off inside the boot area, first of all. As we approach the back of the car, you can see we've got loads of boot space available in there. Uh, we've also got the 60-40 split folding rear seat, should you wish to increase this space even further again. Okay, so we're just going to work our way back around to the front of the car. And then we'll hop in and as I mentioned, we'll run through just a few of the controls on the inside of it from there. Just briefly before we climb in, I think it's well worth seeing the interior from this exterior point of view. There's plenty to run through on the dashboard, so let's hop in and we'll do that now. Okay, now that we're inside the car, we're going to start with the dials. Over on the left-hand side, we have the rev counter. We have the speedometer on the right-hand side. In the center at the top, you can see the total miles for this car. They are 38,137. We have the fuel gauge and coolant temperature gauges in that section as well. If we back out to the steering wheel next, on the left-hand side, we have stereo and phone controls. On the right-hand side, cruise control and speed limiter. And then over into the center, uh, the main screen for the car, which, as you can see, includes a 360 parking camera. So that's actually the front facing camera there and a bird's eye view image of where the car is parked right now. That's the reversing camera and that same bird's eye view image. You can also have a front uh, passenger side wheel view as well. When it comes to your uh, other controls here, we've got the phone, so you can pair your phone up. Once you've done so, you can make and receive phone calls. You can also stream your music wirelessly via Bluetooth audio. We have auxiliary input, a CD player, DAB, FM and AM radio. This car's also got satellite navigation. As you can see, nice clear color display. It's a very easy system to use. Below that, uh, we have this screen here. So this doubles up as two different things. Driver mode, which is what we're on at the moment, where you can put the car in normal, sport, or eco. Whichever mode you'll put it in, you're affecting the engine, the steering, and the climate control for the car. It's also where you can control your climate control. So you can see all the buttons have now changed. We can adjust the temperature, the direction the air is being distributed in, uh, the fan speed over here. You can turn your air conditioning off, back on, or push this button in to put it into auto. The car will now maintain the temperature that you've asked for by taking full control of the direction of the air and the fan speed for you. Underneath that, we have a 12 volt charging socket. We have auxiliary and USB inputs, the gear lever for the six speed manual gearbox, and then driver and passenger heated seats and two cup holders, as you can see. All that leaves me to say is thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If you'd like to come and see the car for yourself and have a test drive, please feel free to give us a call here at Surrey Specialist Cars. We'd love to hear from you soon.